Hi there, my name is Vin PF and this is No Nonsense Whiskey, the only whiskey review show to have zero nonsense whatsoever, somewhat guaranteed. This week we're going to be checking out something that's not really quite whiskey yet, and that is the Floki Icelandic Young Malt. Now it's not whiskey yet because it is a young malt, it isn't three years old, it's uh, I think it's about a year, not sure of the actual figure, and as I said it is Icelandic made by the Einwerk distillery, sorry for the pronunciation there, it's just outside of uh, Reykjavik in Iceland and this is bottled at 47% and is a half litre 50cl bottle. Now in the UK this was selling for around £45 and is now completely sold out. There has been talk of a new release of their young malt sheep dung dried, whatever, um, sheep dung smoked young malt as well. Um, I'm not sure if that has already come out or not or gone, but they're going to be having their release of their three-year-old single malt in November of 2017. So do check them out. Um, they are obviously mostly on Iceland, but they do ship worldwide, I believe, um, or they may be available outside of the country. Hence why I got this. I actually got this from uh, the dudes at This Is My Dram. Uh, when I was uh, a kind of impromptu guest on their show, uh, I sent them some blind samples and in return they sent me two blind samples, one of which was this. And I uh, saved some for review because I wanted to bring it to you guys. Mostly because I was quite proud of myself for how far I got. I managed to narrow it down to something that wasn't actually whiskey and was young, but I genuinely thought it was on British Isles. Um, I thought it may well have been English or something like that. Um, I knew it wasn't Lakes because they haven't released any yet and I've tried their previous Young Malts. Um, and I knew it wasn't Kings Barnes, so I was pretty stumped, but they revealed it to be Flocky, so Floki, Flocky. Here it is. That's um, pretty much the kind of major information about the distillery itself. Um, this whiskey itself, the Floki, was named after one of the first explorers to go checking out Iceland. But let's see what they're making and go from there. So, on the nose. Now it's, on some young malts, you'll get that kind of malty smell. Now if you, you'll know what I mean, if you've ever been to a distillery, it's in the air when you walk around. This is a bit different. It's like, it's like straw, straw rather than barley, the malt kind of smell. So I get cut, cut straw, freshly cut straw, maybe sitting in bales in a barn or something like that. There's quite a strong alcoholic smell to it, 47%. But you know, behind that, it's kind of creamy, almost buttery. Seems a bit odd to say, but that's what it is. Let's go on for a taste. Hmm. Now it's, it's it's really hard to uh, to drink like um, like people will always say a second in the mouth for a year in the barrel, but it's only been in there for a year or two maximum, so a bit longer I think. But yeah, so it's it's spicy on the tongue. Mm. Spicy on the tongue. Lots of it's like pepper, like eating peppercorns. Very spicy. On the finish, when that disappears, you kind of get more of that straw, but for me, it's almost like it's been slightly charred or singed, not burnt. Um, that's, I, I don't want to give away that impression. It doesn't taste burnt at all, but that's what's in there. Lots of straw. If you like your kind of herbal, grassy notes, it's kind of a bit of an extreme version of that. But yeah, overall not bad. It's um, it's a toughie. I wouldn't call it a relaxing drink, that's for sure. There's um, lots of flavours to cut through. No peat or smokiness to it. We'll leave that to the sheep dung. But um, the only trouble I have, I mean, yeah, I obviously can't buy it now, so it's probably irrelevant anyway. But forty-five pounds seems like quite a lot of money for this, um, considering it's a couple of years old. I know, it, I know they're independent, and I know they're in an island in the middle of nowhere, but 
mm, that sort of money is a bit silly, I think, but but what have you. It's it's good for people like me and probably a few of you people as well. It's interesting to see what young distilleries are doing because a lot of distilleries are really quite old um, and set in their ways and they've done the same expressions for years, albeit with some fluctuations in their flavour profiles. But it's very interesting for new people like me, I am relatively new to whiskey, to to taste young things, you know, the stuff they wouldn't normally get to try. But yeah, say £45, we'll see. I'm not sure what their new release is going to be priced at, but if I imagine it'll be comparable, maybe even a bit more, 50 quid. It's going to be it's going to be a tough decision, but hopefully I'll get some and I'll be able to tell you people about it, whether it's worth getting, whether it's worth even trying to find it. But, um, you know, distilleries like that, I suppose, are going to need, need our support to get anywhere. If they want to have aged spirit, we're going to have to buy their stuff now. That's just long and short of it, I'm afraid. But yeah, I would label that as not too bad. I wouldn't want to give it, it's not, it's not a glow review for sure because it is, it is young and it does taste very young. It's not going to blow anyone's mind, but on the whole it's a good representation of what they might make. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure about added colour and things like that, but I mean that that strikes me, considering how cold it is in Iceland, that strikes me as very unlikely to be natural, but it could well be. I'm not, I'm not, not going to say either way. There you go. Well that's just a quick overview of what they're, they're doing at um, Einwerk Distillery. Hopefully I'll get some of their newer stuff when it comes out and bring it to you guys and let you know what they're doing. If you haven't heard of them, please do check them out because I say new distilleries deserve our attention at the very least and maybe even a little bit of our cash input to get them going, start making good stuff. Well, thanks again for watching. Appreciate every view. We're very narrowly getting towards the 500. Who knows, I may well have hit it by this time when this video airs, let's hope. And uh, please do like, comment and subscribe and join me in the future for more whiskey reviews. Thank you.